So the last two gifts from the winking cat. Mm -hmm. These have been worked out from Galnet articles on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And I'm going to put all six locations in the video description. You've only got until midnight on the 30th UTC to get the first three. So if you want them, grab them now. And then you've got till the 6th of January to get the second three. So I'm here with my man Richard. We're going to go and jump and pick up present number five. By the way, did you, by any chance, did you outfit a scorpion? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got, a, I got a scorpion uh, here in Cleo, yeah. Stupid. I just prefer it now, just for driving, I just really do. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. Saying, I'll, not saying I'll never drive a scarab again, you know, but at the moment, yeah, I'm really digging the scorpion. I really love driving around in it. Um, especially with like using pedals to drive it, it's really cool. Okay, so we're here in the Contien system, and I believe we want. <laughs> Look at all those fleet carriers. I believe this is where we want 1A, body 1A. This is a nice big payout for Christmas, this one. Oh yeah, they've never done something like this before. I mean, 10 million for all the others that you pick up, but 100 million for this one, which is really nice. It's actually pretty good for new players. By exactly, itself. that's exactly what I'm thinking. They're going to get like 140, 150 million credits and two free ships. And I don't even have to grind the Empire rank to get the courier. I wish I wish I would have that elf. And 150 million credits for any new player is certainly a nice little leg up. You know, that'll get them a A-rated Python or something, and then they can use that to make the money for anything else they want. Let's see what DSS brings up. Yep, no crash ship. Let's hang on. Yep, I have got points of interest, right? Okay, so usual thing then. Drop into normal flight, look in the nav panel, and there it is. And it's got the exploration sign next to it, rather than the salvage sign. So that's how we know we've got the right one. And again, looks just like all the others. Right. Hardly need the lights on. <laughs> mm. Yep, there you go. It's a settlement uplink like you find in planet bases. And when you scan it, you should get the usual message come up. And it's a gift from Rackham Capital Investments. This got people wondering because of course Rackham is the guy who's built the station right at the top of the galaxy that you could only reach by fleet carrier and so when it came out on Christmas Day there were people going no you can't mean go all the way up there you can't mean that but no of course not because Rackham has his fingers in a lot of pies and uh, influence in a lot of systems so there you go that's a gift from Rackham courtesy of the winking cat 100 million credits a green festive flak mm. launcher and a snowflake bobblehead but we're going to pop over to the divorcee system and pick up the last of these gifts which will be very nice for me because I was looking to put a vulture on this account A12C there we are 
A12C. And say so all six locations will be in the video description text. Yeah, so please like and subscribe more for Laura. Yep, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Cannon, hire this man. Feel free to tell us how much we suck. Ah. <laughs> uh. Just keep links safe for work. There might be kids watching. Yep, you get minor wreckage, irregular markers, etc, etc, but no crash ship until we drop into normal flight. Go into your nav panel and it magically appears. And it is the right one, it has the exploration tag. Hmm, there is an SRV there. There's been a couple where you scan the SRV rather than the settlement uplink. Yeah, my plan was to get into your SRV at the same time as you and then use a turret to yeah, check, I still don't uh, check think the it'll airplane. Yeah, I still work. It doesn't look like they're going to let that work. You should have just mailed us the gift or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> well, where's the fun in that? It's supposed to be a bit of a well, treasure hunt. The fun is that I'll have to freaking go more than 20,000 light years. Well, they didn't know you were going back. to be 20,000 light years away, to be fair, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, blame FDEV. Yeah, blame FDEV. Yeah, it's your fault. You didn't email Richard in advance and say, hey. We're gonna I mean, they know I had the event, right? <laughs> Didn't they know? Of course they knew. <laughs> uh. It's very inconsiderate towards Richard. There he is, 25,000 light years away, and you start giving away 150 million in gifts and a couple of free ships. Oh, not to mention the jumper, you know, the indispensable jumper. Um... I mean, I got the other three items, remember? Yeah. But not the other one. Like, what were the rewards again? Uh, I've got a full That's list prevalent. of them somewhere, but, um, yeah, what am I looking for? I'm looking for contacts, and it's, ah, it is, it's the crashed SRV, right, okay, this time it is the SRV that they want you to read. There it is. And there is your gift from Imogen LeRae of Frontline Solutions. 10 million credits, a vulture, and the vulture Icarus red paint job. Pick them all up from Fowler Oh, is Orbital. that like, one question, is that Icarus red an actual, you know, unattainable paint job? You know, well, you've seen the Icarus red because it's on my rescue corvette. Oh, no, 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 but like for vulture. Well, we're going to go and pick it up and have a look, so... We will answer that question in a minute. More after these messages. More after these messages. Yeah. Yeah, and there it is. I got myself a vulture. Cool. Very nice. So. Let's put a livery on it. But yeah, okay. I think it looks pretty good. I'll make a nice little match for the rescue corvette, which also has Icarus Red. Oh, it looks pretty good. I quite like that. I think the vulture's lines lend itself pretty well to the paint job so there you go you've got a free vulture you've got a free paint job you've got a 
green flak launcher. You've got something in a region of 150 million free credits just for following this little paper trail, doing this little treasure hunt. And uh, that's not too shabby, and especially if you're a new player. That's a welcome little addition. It just remains to say thanks to my man Richard for coming along while we pick up the last of the winking cat gifts. There's all three colours together. We may or may not have something happen between now and New Year. Last year, on New Year's Eve, we had the biggest Thargoid attack to date with nine stations on fire. That seems a bit tame now, considering that at the time it was the biggest incursion and the biggest attack we'd ever faced. I think a I lot of give... things, if they don't kick off for uh, the new year itself, will kick off in January with the Colonia Bridge project offering the version 1 FSDs in various sizes again. It'll be interesting to see what ships like this little one, the Courier, and Dolphins and similar can get once they're pushed to the limit of their jump range. The Thargoid stuff is definitely going to continue at some point. And this big two-year story that they're supposed to be telling is now a year and a quarter in. So expect things to ramp up in 2022. In the meantime, thanks to my man Richard for joining me. Happy New Year. If anything else happens, I might do a quick video on it. But for now, that's it from me. Enjoy your free gifts courtesy of the Winking Cat. Stay tuned for 2022. Because whatever they're doing with this big story, we are getting closer and closer to the payoff.